Good evening, everyone. This is Controlled Chaos speaking. I hope you all are having a good fun day. If not, I hope to help with that. So, I don't know if this is the last session that I'll be playing Sam and Max Save the World, but we have reached the final chapter. And apparently it's called Bright Side of the Moon. I love colorful Maxes. So, previously we managed to shut down Reality 2.0, which was a which was a Vi, yet another Vi, to take over the world with hypnotism through virtual reality headsets. Oddly enough, and apparently the true mastermind behind the entire hypnosis debacle is a Roy G. Biff. But we don't know the identity of them. But I have a huge theory. And in fact, I'm willing to do an I'll eat my hat bet. If, here's my guess. It is Hugh Bliss. And if it isn't Hugh Bliss, I have. In fact, I need to. Sorry about that. I have next to me a bag of three year old bean boozled packages. A pack of bean boozled. So if I'm wrong, if I'm proven wrong, I'll have one of those bags. The whole bag, one by one each round. So, with the wager set, let's dive right in. Which is why every citizen will find a oh, yeah, government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spray in America. Let's heat this mother up. Oh boy. This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. Nice ventriloquism. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy-in-chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. Mm. The Internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers. Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss! Mind readers? That's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? It's Colors. going to be Hugh no, Bliss. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the commissioner. The commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never. What? I no, knew it. I didn't mean. Ha ha. I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Sorry. Stop. Still have to be used another day. By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy, I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines. Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. Since when did the moon have that face? But, it seems I won the bet. I knew as soon as... I mean, I kind of suspected him when they first introduced him the suspicion went down a bit but as soon as I heard Reggie Biv I'm like it has to be Hugh Bliss although I could still be proven wrong so don't hold on to hope that I'll be uh, having a bean boozled pack whoa it's colorful this time Chapter 6, Episode 6, The Bright Side of the Moon. Is there a DeSoto equipped for this? Ah, oh, feel
feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how been not here to before. infringe on a registered trademark. I had a feeling buddy. they have. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? I guess it is. Oh, hey. It's a mole. Wait. Was that suit of disguise? Well, well. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time, but no longer. I guess he was an animatronic. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. I see. Color does. Harry uh -oh. Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again. Or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Hmm. Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Well, I guess I can already see the hypnotism taking effect. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught yeah, me... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Aw, oh, Max, I thought you were a fan. Let's see... Seen Hugh Bliss around here lately? To see the master, I need only search my heart. So I that's a no. In the traditional fashion. No, he's usually in the blister these days. And where is that? Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. Huh. Convenient. Hmm. Wonder what all you've got. So what are you doing here? I monitor the visitor's center and answer people's questions. Security guard, huh? Docent! I'm a docent! No idea what that means. So I'm just gonna call you a security guard. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! Huh. <laughs> hmm. Uh-oh. What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! I see. The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> huh. So it was stolen. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. We understand. I'm sure they'll okay. come into play. Go ahead. Right. That's going to come into play. Hmm? I think that's a satellite. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, look. There's a slightly beat-up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The huh. past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. Well, that is pretty wise words. Oh, hey, it's Super Bowl. Hey, small worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Super Bowl. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. I see. You're studying this prismatology, too? Not studying. I've mastered it. You mastered prismatology by standing in front of a door? I am one with the door. We exist in the indigo wavelength of reality. The door is an illusion. Huh. President Max requires an audience with you, Bliss. I can't let just anyone into the retreat. Orders? Well, as your president, here's your new order. Move it! 
I'm now a citizen of bliss, sir. I can't let you in. Hmm. This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hugh Bliss is great. I'm sorry. I'm gushing. It actually sounds like he's gushing. So long, Super Bowl. Oh. Let's see. What else have we got? Warning. Wild lunar yaks have been sighted in this area. If you encounter a wild lunar yak, try to make yourself look large, then shriek like a schoolgirl and <laughs> hightail it for the hills. Hmm. Wow. I am not given a lot to work with here, am I? Lunar lander. It's a lunar lander. So is my Aunt Tilly. But they can't prove anything. Hmm. Oh. The door's locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. Oh, so no. many of us are like that. Huh. Well, that's a shame. Hmm. Where are we headed now, Sam? Guess we should check in at Basco. La Firma. Hey, Bosco, oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not again? Not mud in the store? I just vacuumed. <laughs> hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. It, 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 he's my son. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Guys, Turn it, Max. it's me, Bosco. I can't believe Max was fooled this time. Ugh. Anyways. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One. Uh, so what have you got? What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker. And it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. <laughs> that he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. So. Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you. Who's the crazy one? He's well, got you there. Sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. Well. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. Anyways. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. It seems all of our other Bosco tech has disappeared. Oops. All of our other Bosco tech has gone away. So, I guess we're left begging for that earthquake maker. So, I wonder how we're going to. I wonder how we're going to drum up that earthquake maker. Well, let's check in with Sybil and what she's up to. Hmm? Liver and onions have been headed towards a nasty breakup for years. Oh. Anyways. I hope it's the Canada store. I think I know what it is. I'm not sure I want to say it. I'm just going to ask. Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people. The people. You feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. 
I, I was wrong. Rush was the Queen of Canada. I was wrong. I thought it was the Prime Minister of Canada. That's more accurate. Queen of Canada. Queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? I'd like to know Did that. You find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease, hinting at a long forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Ah. Uh, yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. Hmm. Well, I can't argue with that. Although it seems they have an argument. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college, and we spell color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are you President, are of, President, the President of the United States, States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Huh. What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. Huh. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shots <laughs> and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. Hmm. Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Uh -oh. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. Hmm. Oh. If you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. Hmm. But how can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I uh. didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. So, have you come up with any brilliant ideas for improving Canada? Nothing solid yet. We've thought of a new slogan. Canada. It's surprisingly pleasant. But we need something bigger, something to really put us on the map. And I think the Queen of Canada gig has improved her uh, vocalization a bit. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. It really does suit her well, I think. All right. Well, maybe we'll check in in the office. I think Jimmy Two's teeth is still squatting there. Plus, we need to look into the latest of our trophies. Let's see. Oh good, the door's already open. Let's see. Do, do, do. Here we go. The virtual reality goggles we used to destroy the internet. Now all those poor bloggers have to stand on street corners telling passing strangers what TV shows they like to watch. Hey, Leonard. Did you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Let me rephrase that. What have you been feeding him? You know, bits of string, leftover screws, random scraps of paper I find lying around the office. This morning I fed him something that said, Deed to the United States of America. It looked tasty. I think you just lost your presidency there, Max. And that look is the look of a man that has no life. Anybody home? Guess not. Huh. Wait. Okay. I'm not sure which would surprise me more. If Jimmy Two Teeth uh, studies prismatology or if he's nowhere to be seen in this entire episode. Guess we'll find out. Right.
right now we gotta figure out how to get a trillion dollars because I get the feeling that's what we'll need. Hmm. Any words of wisdom? Nope. Help me out with something. Sure. I need a hundred trillion dollars. Pity we already sold your baseball card collection to buy that kidney for your Uncle Rollo. Yeah, I wonder what he wanted it for. Uh, pretty sure the name didn't have a Y and it had more L's and O's. Also, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Help me out with something. Sure. I yearn to blast off in that lunar lander, but the keys are locked inside. Does AAA service extend to the moon? Hmm? Somehow I Wait doubt it. Wait a second. It. I just noticed movement on that Never parking mind. meter. Is that Jimmy Two Teeth? It is. I wondered where you went to. Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back up, Buzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean, we, White Rabbit? Huh. Oh, that's what you meant. And I'm pretty sure I guessed who it is. Who Roy G... Who, uh, Roy G. Biv is. I even made a wager. So, I could still be proven wrong. Anyways. Oh. Uh, apparently... Yeah, I thought Jimmy Two Teeth would have something. I'm trying to. Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. <laughs> All right, one last word of wisdom from Max. Help me out with something. Sure. I can't exactly say why, but I feel a strange urge to take that display case from the visitor center. In that case, you'd better bone up on your smuggling techniques. Hmm. Never mind. Yeah, but how are we to smuggle it? Well, let's get Where back to the now, moon. Sam? To the moon, Alice. Hey, hey. I probably shouldn't laugh at that joke. Let's see. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? That is a good question. Oh yeah. I think I got distracted by Jimmy Two Teeth. Help me out with something. Sure. Let me see. I yearn to blast off in that lunar lander, but the keys are locked inside. Does AAA service extend to the moon? Somehow oh, yeah, that's I right. doubt it. Alright. Never mind. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Hold it. Hello, Super Ball. Hmm. Hmm. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hubilis believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. Hmm. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much huh. simpler now. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I huh. supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. 
Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Phrasing. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller. Draw, partner. Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations. Huh. Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like that you to unicorn. keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You do that. Hmm. How does that unicorn work? Anyway? I saw the unicorn By in magic, the. Sir. Right. Either that, or it's just a glorified mood ring that reacts to body heat. A mood horn. You're not a believer, sir. I could never explain it to you. Hmm. Well, so long, Super Bowl. Well, my it's been rewarded. Hmm. Hey, Max, want to pet the unicorn? No, thanks. I took care of that before we left the office. No comment. Just no comment. All right. Hmm. Oh wait, never mind. Just remember, Doctor's mom only wanted that VHR cassette. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try the microwave. I know one way to get horny hot. Ha! <laughs> ha! Success! His little horn's nice and red. Wow! I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist! Said. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. <laughs> we never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Well, we made it in. <laughs> 